Apex Predator is a solar heavy adaptive frame rocket launcher, obtainable from the Last Wish raid, as well as being able to purchase the Red Border with 20 spoils at Hawthorne after you've done the quest to complete each encounter. It's the same archetype as rocket launchers like Hothead and Red Herring, with Hothead having slightly better stats, but Apex being craftable and having arguably better perks. So in today's video, I'm going to focus solely on the PvE perks to consider here, and I'm going to assume that most of you are likely going to want to use this for DPS. So starting off with the Barrel Magazine, in column 1, I recommend going with the perk Quick Launch because it's going to help give you a nice buff to your velocity, which increases the speed of your projectiles during DPS, and it's going to give you a nice buff to handling, which will come in handy, pun intended, when we talk about the perks in columns 3 and 4. Now, I've seen some people go for something like Volatile Launch, but that buff to Blast Radius is not going to improve your DPS at all, and it's really only an option I would go with if you're going to use this more for ad clearing, but otherwise I would stick to something like quick launch. As for the magazine, there's really only one option in my opinion and it's a no-brainer and that's impact casing. The main reason being because it does increase your impact damage by 10% and your overall damage by 2.2% and although that doesn't sound like much, every bit does help and it is free damage. Moving on to the perks with columns 3 and 4, before I mention the perks you should consider here, I first want to point out a few perks that you should completely avoid on this weapon. The first being bipod. This may be tempting to use because it does give you up to four shots in your magazine when paired with something like reconstruction, but it also gives you a massive minus 40% to your damage, which in my opinion is not worth the trade-off, and despite having those extra shots in the magazine, it's not going to be better than some of the other perks in this column for DPS, so I would completely avoid that perk. The other one is Vorpal Weapon. Yes, it does give you passive 10% damage, but in my opinion, you're better off going with something like Frenzy, which gives you a little bit more damage, not to mention it'll max out your reload speed and handle it. The other perk that I would avoid here is going to be collective action. Yes, you do get a 20% damage, but it's based on a timer. Also, in order to proc it, you have to be collecting some kind of elemental pickups, which would require that you kill enemies. And even if there are enemies around, that's going to take extra time away from your DPS phase, unless you're going to use this for ad clearing. But even then, there are much better options for that as well. So now moving on to the perk combinations, there's actually several different options to consider here, and a few that might actually surprise you, but the one that's going to be the safest and probably most consistent and efficient for most people is going to be bait and switch and reconstruction. Now initially I was a little hesitant to go with reconstruction because I felt like it's just giving you one extra shot in the magazine. Is that really going to make a difference? But then I realized that with the enhanced version, it's actually going to bring that time to refill that magazine down to three seconds. And with the base reload speed, it takes about 3.18 seconds for you to even reload the weapon which means after you fire off your two rockets and you start to reload, by the time you reload, you're going to have two shots in your magazine again because it's going to double your capacity as long as you're not firing the weapon. And this is one of the rare cases where I actually think the enhanced perk is going to be worth it and make a big difference. As for bait and switch, you have that massive 35% damage increase and that's going to last for 11 seconds on the regular version and for 12 seconds on the enhanced version. Also, one added benefit of going with something like bait and switch over explosive light is this does buff wolf pack rounds where something like explosive light does not. Now I will say there's one major drawback to using bait and switch on this weapon and that's the fact that the base reload speed is 3.18 seconds which is really slow and even though you're getting that extra rocket from reconstruction you're not going to be able to get as many rockets off in time because of the slower reload speed before you have to reproc this perk which leads me to my second perk combination to consider here and that's explosive light and reconstruction. One advantage of going with explosive light is that you can get up to six stacks of guaranteed 25% increased damage, and with the enhanced perk, you can go up to seven stacks, which could come in handy in damage phases that are a lot shorter, whereas bait and switch would be a lot better in longer damage phases. So that's definitely something to keep in mind here. Now, although I really like reconstruction on this weapon, there are a few other options that could actually be even better depending on your setup and would result in faster reloads and ultimately more DPS, allowing you to take better advantage of bait and switch while it's active. Which leads me to my next two perk combinations to consider, the first being bait and switch with slideways. Now slideways, just by sliding, is going to reload 15% of your magazine, as well as giving you a buff to your stability and handling for 3 seconds. And this is enough to reload your weapon, so if you're in a DPS phase where you have some room to move around, you could simply fire your rocket, slide, fire your rocket, and 
continuously reload just by sliding. Granted, it might feel a little bit more wonky than using reconstruction, but if you pair this with other exotics like Six Coyote, it could be a rather useful combination, and in some cases, even better than reconstruction. The other perk combination I wanted to highlight here is actually pairing Demolitionist with Bait and Switch. With the right build, this could actually be really useful, especially if you have one of those infinite grenade builds for DPS, because every time you throw your grenade, you're going to reload this weapon. And just like Slideways, there could be potential there for it to be better than Reconstruction. Now, although I think those are going to be the best options for min-maxing your damage and trying to min-max your reload speed and how fast you can get those rockets out, I did want to mention a few other options to consider here that could be worth at least trying for yourself. The first being Threat Detector. The reason I like this perk is in certain situations, if you're utilizing an exotic like Radiant Dance Machines and you really don't need a reload or magazine perk, this is going to be the better option. And the main advantage of using Threat Detector is it gives you a handling multiplier. So even if you're just near your boss at one stack, you're getting a 0.9 multiplier to your handling as well as a plus 25 to the handling stat. And if you are able to keep an ad alive and around during DPS, you could actually max out your handling at 100 and your reload speed at 99, as well as your stability at a 93. So that could definitely be an option to consider or at least try. The other is actually tracking module. The reason I like this perk is if you're dealing with a boss that is constantly moving around, similar to the final boss in Ghosts of the Deep Dungeon, tracking module could come in rather clutch and could be a lot more important than having a perk that buffs your reload speed or your magazine. Now, one last perk I did want to mention here, which could be useful in situations where you have a lot of ads around you, or if you're able to somehow save some ads for DPS phase, is actually Surrounded. Surrounded actually has the potential to do even more damage than Bait and Switch, because just the base regular version of this perk, when you have three or more enemies within eight meters, gives you a whopping 40% damage buff that is not set to a timer and doesn't require orbs. And with the enhanced version, that damage is increased even further up to 47%, which is 13% more damage than even Bait and Switch. And unlike Bait and Switch, it's going to stay active as long as those enemies are around, which means every single shot is going to give you 47% damage. So I definitely would consider trying this out for yourself. You could even pair that with a perk like Slideways, so you're able to just slide and constantly reload. So that's definitely an option to consider. Finally, for the masterwork, I think it's a no-brainer here. I would go for Velocity, and as for the mod, I would go for Boss Spec. Well, that's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you so much, Guardians, for tuning in. As always, if you found this video helpful, be sure to smash that like button as it helps me out on the channel. And if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and tap that bell button so you won't miss future videos. Thanks Thanks again and I will catch you guardians later.